Hey, it's Henry. I'm on the move here in the Bitterroot Mountains where it is snowing. So I thought it would be maybe a good time to do a little bit of follow up on temperature. Last week I posted a video about why I'm a fan of Fahrenheit. Although it's not really a video about why I'm a fan of Fahrenheit, it's really about temperature in general. Also, I'm very aware that I was really out of breath last time, so hopefully I'll be less out of breath this time. I'm just walking, not running. So, why am I bashing Celsius as like uh, Earth-centered or human-centric if Fahrenheit is even more human and Earth-centric? And that's not even the point. My goal with the video, which I think a lot of people missed, was really to make you think how you feel about Celsius more than anything else. A lot of people were saying, oh well, Celsius is way more useful because you know exactly how much energy there is if you heat up a liter of water one degree Celsius. That's really easy to calculate, all those sorts of things. It's very useful for science. That is totally true, but that's not a credit to Celsius. That's a credit to the integrated metric system where this temperature system and the energy system, units of length, all of those are combined and integrated in a really nice way. It's not Fahrenheit's failing, it's the imperial system's failing for not being able to convert between units very well. Yes, I think Celsius is a great unit system within the metric system. Apologies if I'm still breathing hard. I just get too excited hiking. One other thing I talked about when I was talking about temperatures is whether they're useful for weather or not. And people have all sorts of arguments for this. There is no right answer. I was saying that Fahrenheit is a nice centigrade scale in the sense that I think the average temperature on Earth is something around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero is cold, 100 is hot, 50 is right in the middle. Other people pointed out that as we are even seeing right here, there's this thing that is important for the weather, not just temperature, but water. People care about how much water is coming out of the sky, in particular, is that water frozen or not? And Celsius, I will admit, is a very good scale to know whether or not the water coming out of the sky is frozen. If it's below zero, it's frozen, probably. If it's above zero, it's probably not frozen. There are some caveats, like the fact that right now it's above freezing, but it's snowing. But I guess the main thing I want people to take away from thinking about units of temperature is that they're all made up by humans, all of them. Even the natural units, they are made up by humans based off of things that humans think are the most natural, but maybe some other alien species would think other things are more natural. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the great comments and questions and people who are really angry at me for saying what I said last time. It's good to have a good discussion. Hopefully we can continue and I'll see you next time on The Move. One very, very, very last thing. This, you may have noticed, is not Minute Physics. This is my second channel. If you like these conversations and you want to have more, you can subscribe and you'll find out whenever I, whenever I happen to be out and about thinking about physics. Look at this. Below zero Celsius.